Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If we're new to each other, my name is Jamie, and today we're just going to be going over several pieces of tech to make your going back to school experience this semester, especially if you find yourself in a remote situation, just a little bit easier. So if you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> So a lot of the items you see here on this desk have already had pre-existent, but I did add two new pieces uh, to my work from home uh, remote schooling setup. We're set to go back to school in a couple days uh, here in Boston. Um, so whether you find yourself you're already in school, your semester's already started, it's never really too late to up your game. Um, for me, one of the things that I added onto my desk um, is going to be this MX Master 3 for the Mac. Um, it does have one customized button that works really well for the Mac, um, and obviously that's what I have right here behind me. Um, it is my first time using this mouse, um, but uh, there's hundreds of videos on YouTube that um, if you want to learn more about it, you can go on it, but we're just going to unbox this thing together. There is some really strong tape. coming right out of the box. Um, it's black with the MX branding right in the front. Uh, inside you'll just see your mouse right away. Cool. It feels good. So the main reason why, um, I won't get into it too much, um, I did want to add this mouse onto the desk is that it says is, uh, they say that it really curves to the curvature of your hand. Um, which, it, which it does, so I'm kind of excited uh, to try this out as well. It has a lot of customizable buttons um, all along there, um, which I'm excited to explore and play with later on. What else is in the box? So inside the box you do get your standard USB-C to USB-C adapter dongle for it to charge, and it can charge right in the front, unlike the Magic Mouse, which is right along the bottom. Um, so you could still use the mouse while charging, which is cool. And that's it for the box. Alright, so the mouse will just put right back here on my physical desk. And we'll just get rid of the packaging for now. And we're going to move on to a 4K Pro webcam. Um, so if you are recording on your uh, laptop and iPad, um, you are going to get probably 720, no more than 1080. Um, but if you're going to be uh, viewed, you know, the majority of your day, um, so here in Boston they are recommended that we leave our camera on the entire time. Uh, I know I like to look as good as possible um, and not as blurry. Um, you know, you want to kind of make the, the most real experience out of your um, education, I think. Um, and I, was never the one to just get out of bed and just go to class. Um, just like if I were going to work, I just like to get dressed up and it just makes it feel a little more normal. And they really package these things really tight. There's literally still more tape. Alright, so in the box is just a, a brown box. Logitech 4K uh, camera. It pops out. It's really sealed. So.
Cool. Alright, yeah, so there you go. It looks like it runs off of um, a USB-C to USB-C type of situation. You can set it right on your... Nope, don't do that. That's better. You can set it on your desk. It doesn't necessarily need to uh, sit on your um, iPad or on your laptop. Sender clips. All right, so the cord that it is included is USB A to USB C, so it looks like the USB C portion goes into your Logitech, um, and then the USB C portion, uh, uh, USB A, excuse me, will go into your computer or tablet. Um, Instructions and a carrying pouch. Cool. Um, all right. So back to the the cord. So if you are using uh, iPad Pro or your own personal um, MacBook um, that doesn't use the USB A, you are going to need an adapter, um, which is great because I have a couple right here on the desk uh, to show you. Put those to the side. Um, so first we have this attack here. I'll leave all these links down in the description down below. But this one's cool because this adapter has multiple USB-A's. Um, so this is my first adapter when I first got my um, MacBook. Uh, but now things are more transitioning to the USB-C world. Um, so I've been using this a little less, but it's kind of cool because um, you have multiple here. You can attach it to your iPad like so. Camera, boom. That's cool. Um, if the, the little dongle thing isn't your thing, I have a couple more here. So this one um, has a, like a mesh um, and it's a little longer. Um, I do like this one a lot. Um, but I also found little adapters. Um, this is also new. And I got this off of Amazon, of course. Um, it's a little two pack, I believe it was $9.99. Um, and you just add your USB A portion and automatically you have a USB C. Um, no matter what your adapter is. So sometimes it's a little bit of a give is kind of cool um, if you want the mesh extender. Um, but if you really just need the adapter piece, um, this is found on Amazon. And again, link in the description down below. So dongles for days, literally. Hey guys, so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison with me on the uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch on the left and then the Logitech uh, Pro 4K on the right. I did try using this setup on my iPad Pro, um, but unfortunately I did not know this and I learned um, that the iPad Pro does not support external cameras or web cameras, um, so I won't work on there, um, unfortunately, but you could still see the picture difference between the two. Um, definitely better on the right hand side with the 4K Logitech webcam. Um, and again, if you're going to be on camera all day long, you might as well look good. And only after a short amount of time of playing with the Logitech 4K webcam, I was able to mount it to my iPad Pro just fine, as well as attaching it to my iMac and my MacBook Pro. The really cool and versatile piece of it is that it's able to detach from its natural stand and attach itself to any tripod that you might have around the house, like this Manfrotto. The next chair we have is a desk fan, um, which is kind of cool, uh, especially as you're moving into the fall. I mean, this is New England, the weather fluctuates. This morning it was cold, um, right now it's literally hot. I was burning up a sweat unboxing those two items there. Um, but just having a little portable fan, especially if you don't want to just turn on your AC on and off uh, with fluctuating weather, um, it's kind of cool. It's wireless, it does charge uh, via USB, so you can just attach it to your laptop or a computer. Um, and it, it, it's held a decent charge. I think I've had it for a couple months and I've only charged it a couple times. Um, and it has three fan settings. And it's really just, just enough, you can tilt it, um, you know, angle it towards you. It really just gives you enough air, um, especially with the fluctuating weather. And yeah, so three fans heading in the front. Link in the description down below. And I really, really um, have liked it. This little piece of tech that never knew existed.
Ooh, that third setting is really high. All right, so what's next? Uh, let's go with phone charger. So this right here is the, Pex, the Pixel Wireless uh, G Charger. Um, I like it because it faces up front. And I do think, you know, this is important to have on your desk, um, especially with remote uh, schooling. Um, it's very tempting to just go through social media, just text, 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 text. Um, I would definitely recommend turning off um, any text messages that come your way, especially if you're like on a MacBook situation. I know those iMessages just like to come. Just close the app so you're not distracted. Um, the same thing with your phone. Just pretend like you were actually in class, put it on your desk, let it charge, just keep it out of sight, out of mind. Um, maybe put it on Do Not Disturb uh, so that way, you know, you're really not getting distracted. I know when you're at home, um, it's a lot easier for those little, little things to happen around the house. Um, whether it's your partner, if you do have children or pets, um, I know it could get very distracting and no more distracting than an actual cell phone. So just charge it, set it, forget it. All right, and then hard drive. So especially if you're using um, a more inexpensive computer, maybe an iPad for your school, you know, go for the lower memory and just keep a, lo a lot of your, your pictures or your non-essential documents that you don't need right away at your disposal on a hard drive. So this one is by Max One. Um, again, yeah, it's a hard disk, it's not SSD, but it's just more uh, budget friendly and it really gets the job uh, done. Um, I do recommend if you do have any sensitive materials, maybe have a couple so that way you have a, a backup in case something does happen. Um, I haven't had anything wrong with this one yet, knock on wood. Um, it wasn't expensive, I believe it was around $50 for the terabyte. Um, but super cool, especially if you're using something like an iPad. Um, we know that Apple charges a lot of money for memory. Um, so might as well, you know, just buy the memory on your own and save a couple dollars, especially if you're not needing all that information right on your uh, iPad or on your computer since we are, you know, remote, we're not traveling anywhere um, to and from. So, you know, just leave this on your desk. You could leave it plugged in. We went over the dongles. Um, yeah, definitely a must have, uh, whether you're working remote um, or not. All right, uh, let's go with the, the mic. Um, so this right here is the Blue Yeti uh, mic. I do use it to record a lot of the voiceover for the videos. Um, they do have a couple of more budget uh, options, um, and I'll leave those linked down below. But I really, really like this one. Um, again, just like the, the webcam, if you're gonna be um, you know, streaming all day long, you might as well sound the best, um, depending, again, on what device you're actually using, which laptop, which computer, that iPad Pro does have pretty good um, mics, as well as the MacBook 16 inch, um, and I, as well as 13 inch, any of the new models. Um, but if you're not, you know, rocking a brand new laptop, um, you still want to sound the best you can. Um, and this Blue Yeti mic, no matter what kind of device you're using, will make you sound really, really good. Um, I mean, I do a lot of the voiceover work with this mic, um, and it's been great. I'm very excited to use it um, coming Tuesday when classes start up. Alright, these over here are pretty straightforward, so we'll go through them, through them pretty quickly. Um, a USB, uh, USB uh, disk drive. Um, this one does have USB-A as well as USB-C, um, so it's really cool. You know, you never know what another classmate is going to be using, especially um, when you're not seeing them, you know, every single day, but maybe you do meet up to work on an assignment or something together. Um, and it's cool because it's adaptable and it has both, has both ends. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, a pencil, if you are going to be using your iPad um, for note taking, I mean you're going to need a pencil. Um, I also recommend maybe not using this magic keyboard and more of the folio keyboard so that way you could type um, as well as fold it over and write. Um, I do have one here. Yeah. So you would just attach it. Uh, the folio is much easier for flipping over and then note taking as well as typing. Um, again, I have a prior video to this, so I'm not going to go on it too long. Um, but if you are going to be using your iPad for note taking, the writing experience is so cool. And with Scribble coming on iPad OS 14, um, if you don't like your own handwriting, you should be able to convert it right to text, uh, which will be neat. Microfiber cloth. I've also talked about these in, uh, in past my other uh, my past videos. I 
really, really, really do not like fingerprints. Um, and, and these are great for your phone, um, for your computer, especially if you use an iPad where you go back and forth between touching and not touching. Um, just get those fingers prints off. Um, they last a long time and they're so inexpensive for like a five or six pack. Again, description down below. Love them. I keep them everywhere. Bad dust everywhere. Car, your dashboard, they work great. Uh, and then headphones. Um, if you're gonna be sharing space, even if you're not sharing space, it's kind of cool to just have headphones in. So um, if you like the little earbuds, those are cool. Um, you prefer over the ear headphones right over there. I'll actually grab them. Um, over the here, headphones, these are Beats, they came for free a couple years ago when I bought my MacBook. Uh, yeah, so depending on what your, your style is. Uh, the thing with these noise cancelling ones, so these are just uh, OG um, AirPods, so they don't have the noise cancelling, uh, which is fine, especially if you're working from home, you don't know if someone's going to be knocking on your door, um, you have a pet crying, you go outside, a kid screaming. Um, you kind of want to hear those noises, and I kind of think the AirPods uh, work a little better. Um, for the opposite fact that they don't cancel out noise and you do want to kind of hear some of the ambient sound so you know if your attention is needed. I know there's been times where I'm just wearing the AirPod Pros with the noise canceling and I don't know what's going on in the world. Um, sometimes it's great if you are like at the gym and really trying to block everything out, but sometimes you do want to hear a little bit of sound. Um, and I know that the AirPod Pros have the transparency so you could bring the sound in. Um, but this is kind of just why I prefer to use the regular AirPods um, for at home versus on the go. All right, and then I believe the dust is just about empty. This is the last piece of item I'm just gonna talk about real quick, and it's the power adapter case with cord winder. Um, it's really cool. It'll also protect your, um, your adapter, your white block, um, as well as wind up your cord. Um, so the, you know, the USB-C to USB-C cord is quite lengthy on the 16-inch MacBook Pro that I have behind me, um, as well as the 13-inch, it's also pretty long. Um, but regardless, if you don't need all that give and you're uh, traveling with this big block, it's kind of nice to be able to just wind it up and put it away versus just having that tangly cord all over your bag. Um, as well as just hiding it from any pets. So I know my particular cat loves white cords. So if there's any extra give, um, just hanging around uh, for him to, to bite on, to chew on, you best believe he's going to do that. So just being able to only have just enough um, where he doesn't have that temptation to play with it and bite it um, has been really cool and has saved me um, a little bit of money because these cords, as we know, especially um, if they come from Apple themselves, can get pretty pricey. All right, cool. So we went over everything on the desk. Um, and by no means do you need any or all of those things to be successful um, in your remote situation this semester. Um, but I'm personally really excited about using the new mouse and 4K webcam, both by Logitech. Um, let me know what you are excited about and what, or what's working for you. Um, definitely leave comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, maybe the notification button. Maybe follow me on Instagram. Um, because I like to drop new videos like this all the time. <laughs> so until next time. See you.